juice is red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knob, sir. I watch was picked from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. God damn, Reverend. What's going on, everyone? Legend now one here, and I hope all of you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day so far, as usual. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, boy. Um. I don't think this lawman disguise is working, Arthur. Eh, Javier. And, uh. We left off where we met that boy that loved the girl and everything. Um. Also, I kind of cheated. Well, no, I didn't do any missions, but I just, I cut my hair, I got some new weapons, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, so. Mr. Bell. <sighs> that's kind of creepy how you said it, but all right. Um, oh, yeah, we have to go see goddamn Bill. Um, yeah, so I went all the way to Valentine to get a haircut. And I got into hella fights. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. Hmm. How do you feel about that, Mr. Marston? Ah, uh, I think my outfit looks all right. Nothing, nothing crazy. My boy, Javier. You joining us? You might be the most loyal of the I think uh, Javier might be my second favorite um, person in the game. Behind Lenny! What's up, Lenny? Shut up, Bill. Bill, shut up. You almost killed us. I was going to say, that was what the fuck? That's the horse's name. Alright, you know what? Lenny, I'll, I'll come back to you. What do you want, you? We got something cooking. You might back to Gamora. No idea what that means. Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good because point. Because I'm Arthur Morgan. Very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't mind that. It's worth going back wouldn't there. mind that at all. Us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being I have a bunch of bullets now, so it's all good. If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. Are we actually doing it right now? I mean, hey, I'm down. I'm just saying. It's a bank, Arthur. So, is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. Okay. I suppose. Of course. I'm gonna be performing. You guys like my new drip? Give me a minute, Probably not. I don't know. It's kind of hard to find. Well, I mean, maybe for you guys it's easy, but for me, it's it's really hard to find like a style for Arthur, just because it's so like old. Ooh, Strauss, my boy. He's dead. Well, he didn't seem very well. His God wife, damn it. He has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Mm. Then you can head up there and collect. Ah, and so you want me to do more okay. debt collecting. Gentlemen, I got you, so Strauss. The bank. What's the Woo! Oh, we're gonna that is some drip the right there. Distraction. They were just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just You're goddamn deal. right, brother. Alright, let's do this. Insurance policy. Insurance policy. Uh, All right. Follow me. I I had um Arthur's head bald, but then I think because I 
fucking overdosed on the hair tonics, it grew much faster. <laughs> ah, Lenny. So glad he's joining us. Tell me again about this big can't go yeah, I can't go wrong. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. That sure is reassuring. We'll see how it looks. Mm -hmm. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. Mm -hmm. Good thing Sadie didn't come with us. Was that her name? The blonde girl? Excuse me. That wanted to, you know, act all badass and shit. Of course I do. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? Mm. No. What kind of deals? Yeah. See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work, same as you. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, yes, we do. I know, Morgan. What should I say? Eh, yeah, fuck it. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Oh, yeah, we are going back to Valentine. You leaving that bank behind? Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. No, no, no. You did. Cool you Double did, Bill. Punch ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. Of course. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Because you almost killed us last time. I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know. I think he does, I Arthur. The lead on this one. We'll see, about we'll see exactly. We'll see about that. God damn, O'Driscoll. He probably isn't even an O'Driscoll, but still. So, thinking this through. We rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. Oh! Last few weeks happen. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Gotta be Where are we going? Just go with this. Right. But we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery. I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Oh, yeah. In and out. Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. What was that place that was um uh, that we that we were like very first in like the really cold area? Was it Blackwater Strawberry? I have no idea. We're here.
Good morning. You want Hello. trouble with me? Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Here we are. Why can't I bring my gun out? Hold on. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bring my shotgun, but. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. You got it, boss. Uh, good old Valentine. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Let's do lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He's my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> You're ready. Get going. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, good luck to you. Good luck to you too, Lenny. And it don't matter. I got my pistol. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gone real dead. Get on the damn ground. Here, unlock the door. Smart thinking, Lenny. It's unlocked. We're good. Well, I thought you were getting the money. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry, Lenny. I'm so, I'm sorry, Lenny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lenny. Open the goddamn vault. Open the goddamn vault. Before I pull my six shooter out and get you out. Hurry up. How's it going there? Too slowly. You're going too goddamn slowly. I'm nearly there. Do you want me to pull one in you? I'll pull one in you right now. The hell's wrong with you? Himself in here. Come here. How the fuck do I open the lock boxes now? I the, 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 the manager does that. I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Uh I'll say crack. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. Alright, but you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still. Shut up, Bill, you goddamn son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Not much. He's taking too long. How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Slowly, just like what the bully biology teacher said. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't worry. I see him. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. If I could, I'm only giving the, the half of the cuts to Lenny. And it's only to me.
Come on. We're getting there. Few more minutes. Uh, give me that all that money, boy. Dude, I thought the fucking cut was gonna only be like 4,000, dude. This is fucking the quadruple times it. Can you shut up, Bill? I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to go slow and steady because it wins the race. Imagine if just fucking the robbery goes wrong and then just fucking everyone dies and we lose all our money. What if I, what if that is? That, uh, if that is, if that actually happens, uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Bop that. Gentlemen, hurry. We got Gentlemen, company. I got my new upgraded guns, boy. Assuming folk ain't dead in there, you won't swing. I said, come out now. What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Okay, Shady 2.0. Don't shoot. If that's your name. Don't shoot him. I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Look at that badass shot of Arthur Morgan. Do you know who you're messing with? I am Arthur motherfucking Morgan. Well, Arthur Callahan, that's my undercover name. Shit. Yo, if I can get my horse to get my pump shotgun. Easy, boy. No, 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 wrong thing. Yeah, fucking smack. Yeah, Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, God damn it. Let's go boy. Right. Hold on. I need to get more chewing tobacco. Let's get the hell out of this goddamn town. Let's get out of here, boy. Come on, Lenny. I know you got it in you, Lenny. God damn it. Where are the other goddamn law? There's the goddamn law right there. Sorry, Horsey, I didn't mean to shoot you. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong button, 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 wrong button.
God damn it. Still got the main board though. Gotta get some energy. Come on. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh yeah, let me buy the. Let me. I don't know if this is a good weapon, but I bought a a, a, a Sco, Scofield revolver or whatever that shit's called. Oh no, it just look nice. It just look pretty nice. Holy shit, I gotta upgrade the energy on this horse. God damn it. Holy fuck. <coughs> Don't tell me I have to fucking do everything again. Just because my horse had no energy. Okay, I was about to, I was gonna say. Alright, I think after this, I'm literally gonna just upgrade my horse if I could. I think this is how it ends for you, my guy. Where the hell are they coming from? Scoop boy. You see any more of them? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing a robbery. Look out. We're doing a robbery. Mom, boy. You know what? Alright, come on, boy. Come on. You gotta get more energy, boy. Holy fuck. This I just must have good aim. Holy shit. GTA 5 alternate ending, I mean alternate beginning, you know, the Brad, Trevor, Michael beat the train, beats the train. And everyone's good. Ah ha! Right. You sons of bitches. We lost you. Thank you, gentlemen. That was Ooh, woof. and dangerous. Thank you, Phil. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Phil, this you. is a very good take. How much did I get? Happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Lenny, you get 75% of the cut. Oh. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Arthur's number one rule. Make sure you're not followed. How much money did we get? So what was the gang cut? Oh shit. Downs Ranch. Hmm. I don't really recall that. I don't because well no, because I just don't remember what it what it is. Downs Ranch. I don't know, it sounds familiar, but I've, I don't think I've been there before. Or, I, like, I, in the game, not, I'm not saying, like, I've been, I be, I've been there.
I don't think it's the camp, right? Because it would just say, like, go back to the camp. Uh. Boy, you're getting some upgrades, boy. I'm sorry, boy, but I just had to do it. Just had to do it. Ugh. Really hurts when you do that Arthur Morgan voice. Can I feed him? Why can't- Yo, like, I bought, like, what's it called? I bought him peaches, apples, and I still can't, like, feed him anything. I don't know why. Why don't we, uh, just stick a little cigarette? Wait, what? He didn't even do it. He didn't even smoke. Come on, game. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, you know what? I'm done. See, I only have goddamn dollar in my pocket. I came here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. Rest in peace, Roddy Roddy Piper. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. I wonder how Roger Clark did the Arthur Morgan impression. Cause like when I do it, like my throat is so like scratchy and it hurts like crazy. And he's like so spot on. I mean, it's Roger Clark, obviously, cause he's the fucking voice of Arthur Morgan. What am I saying? But damn, yo, like this shit must have hurt bad. husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here aren't you i nearly paid off what was owed your husband knew the rules when he took that money now i'm real sorry about the way things turned out but he had a choice ain't my fault about the way the world is he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good there wasn't no choice in that and you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself you had a choice you speak as if killing was something i cared about you ever wonder about eternity <laughs> Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> please tell me that's all the fucking money, dude. I'm gonna be a millionaire. You got a lazy eye or lack of respect? Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye, no respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Good motherfucking day. Good day. <laughs> Excuse me. Apologies. Are we moving again? What the fuck? <sighs> yes, motherfucking sir. Now that's what I like to see, and I thought 300 was a lot. Oh, excuse me. Where's our boy Dutch? Bill, goddamn Williams. Valentine, told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Jose. All right. Evening, Arthur. Javier, my boy. Can you shut up, Uncle? Oh, no. Sean McGuire. 
was five years younger. Or How are you, brother? Well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face. Nasty acid tongue. Hey, boy. How you doing, boy? You okay, boy? Hello, boy. Hey, boy. I wanted to pet him. I mean, let me, I, I need to get, now that I, yo, yo, now that I think about it, I can get a new drip now, yo. I'm trying to get the uh, drip, yo. Oh, yeah, that hat I stole, so, yeah. Yeah, I got a bald cut, and now I, I think that's it's just what his hair is. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna rock horrible outfit. Not a horrible outfit, but. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to Cry if I want to Cry if I You know what, I think I'm just gonna keep this Yo, that song has been stuck in my head, yo You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah, sounds like it went very well Good work, Arthur Ah Le why would you put Lenny at last? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. You know what? I'm still young. Let, let, let's take some. Let's donate some money. All right, fuck this. I'm tired of scrolling. Uh, excuse me. Uh, morning. I like waking up during the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'll go fishing with you later. I still got some business to. Sean, how you doing, Sean? Any trouble at all, Sean? You holler. You always did fancy yourself as a lawman. You all right there? Yes. Why wouldn't I be? I'm just asking. No need to get defensive. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. All right, now let's go. Let's go get some trip, some guns. You know what I'm. Damn. So do we unlock guns now? A little bit more guns. 
there like there's so many like cool looking guns that are locked and it's a bummer not to get them oh maron it's one of those i think moments where like you just play with like you play a game who can shoot the bottles or you know whatever Cannot use. Oh shit! My bad. Did I just kill an animal? Ah, you're back. Take a look. Any questions? Feel free not to ask. Shut up. Shut up. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, view. Oh, you don't have like a... Ooh, eh, that's not really a red. That's a brown one. Oh, yeah. You're bomb buying that. What about this one? It's all right. Nothing special. Ooh. Oh, so this is like a leather jacket kind of. Mm. Do I? Nah, it's not right. I'll just use that one. Fuck it. Do we just do this? No. This will go good with my red outfit, so. Eh, nah, nah, ooh, eh, actually nah. Oh, you do! Now, what's like the best shirt I can get? Cause the, the shirts that I have right now, yeah. Uh, eh. Deputy Sheriff. Hmm. This is like a Dutch kind of vest. Yeah. Oh, but it, it's all... Well... Oh, mind that. Fuck. Yes. Damn, I just wish they had a red one. All right. I need better pants because my pants are like fancy pants. I already had fancy pants and they're not that special. I guess I'll give that. Talon pants. Let me see what talon pants look like. Ooh. They kind of look like baseball uniform pants, but hey. Not bad. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm going to need new pants. Not new pants, new boots as well. Nah. Uh, they're kind of like the same, pretty much. Um, uh, it's all good. All of it. um, ranch pants. Ooh, now this, this. Do they have like a white one? No. Damn. What? Nah, actually, I like the the ones that I have now. The, uh... Boots. Not boots, poot. Blah, blah, blah. Boots. Here we go. And, of course, we gotta get the, you know... Done. And I heard, like, the only way you get to grow your beard now, because you have it so long, is the, uh, getting hair tonics. Oh, hats! Why didn't I think of hats? Hold on, let me... Clothing... Hats! Uh, 
Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it's probably not my stuff. Whoa. Oh, because it's an outfit. Oh, let me see this one. That does not seem bad. Same, same goes. Same goes with that one. Nothing bad. And I, I want something like the hat that I had. Maybe like an spaghetti western hat. Uh, a derby hat. Oh. And I think I'll just stick with the one that I have now. That's it for now. pockets in this community yeah so if you guys don't know um when i was uh when i was doing okay, one of the see. when i was like you know sneaking when i was playing off the video i encountered the kid in the basement i was like what the fuck yo i was like what the fuck and then like i literally what's it called i just freed the kid and then killed the dad one please god damn it listen you won't take all day shut the you? fuck up what the fuck yo <laughs> what the f yo as soon as i said it he stopped talking <laughs> yeah i know that's not funny but still <laughs> that's actually hilarious Eh, there's not a lot of good guns to get right now, to be honest. I think... I'm gonna just customize my guns. Ugh. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That could really shine with some carbon in it. You need to clean your weapon. Surprised if it still fires. Yeah, so for now, I don't think we need to get any guns. Shut up. Alright, um... Where were we even doing? Oh, yeah. BG. What is this? I'm gonna run in room here just so I can change. Good to see you back to you. Ah, uh, brother. Hello, friend. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but uh, well, you look like something of a rough and tumble type. What pants did I get? Range pants. Um, eh, this might look bad to you guys, but eh, I'm okay with it. Oh, why'd it have to be brown? Why couldn't it be, like, white in the background, too? Just... What are you talking about, fella? Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Just curious. <laughs> Someone told me about a rumor of raiders fighting. Uh, well, it ain't true anyway. You, you never mind me. No, Real whiskey. fine whiskey. What you looking at? Don't reckon Cheers, I've seen Arthur. you in here before. You new to town? Well, roads ain't what it used to be. Not for some time now. Ain't sure if you heard of the Gray family already. They own this damn saloon. They own the damn law. Hell, they own pretty much most of this town now. And it ain't the better port, in my opinion. Thanks for your assistance. Yeah. Stay out of the way. I'm 
Uh, let's see. Holy shit, why there's so many strangers and freaks? Is this the lover boy? Of course it's the lover boy. Where are you, lover boy? There he is. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Whoa. Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want mm. any part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. We better get going. Let's go, lover boy. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob, we must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need Come on, Arthur. From certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Oh, Listen, no. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now, now. We Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Callahan. Oh, never mind then. good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick. And not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, 
Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if you come. Oh. This will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure Prince a peaceful assembly. Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. God, I don't know what the hell you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You got it, boss. Give yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, where not we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Hmm. Interesting. go back and hear the speeches I ain't voted before but kind of getting hot for voting rights I don't know whether to take you seriously mr. Morgan my cousins are my primary concern right now if everyone knows about Penelope and me everyone knows about Penelope and you I know about Penelope and you and I've been here all 10 minutes mm. the sooner it's out the sooner it's resolved the sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Mm. What do they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta mm. go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you, Bo.
Go get her, boss. Mission complete the course of true love. Three. Hey, who could A possibly stand for? I think Abigail. Oh shit! Forgot about her. Yep. That was smooth. What's up? Round here, strangers got a call fuck. Oh fuck. I didn't even get a chip. Now that is some bullshit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. Vast as you do American it. art Have part two. Sell it too. I think, I don't know. Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Come on. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Yep. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. <laughs> the mind boggles. You think they're of use? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good. Back there. Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Mm, 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 mm. 
pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. <laughs> you boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Mm. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, not bad at all. I've been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Hmm. Ooh, uh, that looks Just interesting. Squint. And stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Right Gentlemen! Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. All right, all right, all right. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. yeah. You gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. Uh, 
I sure am, brother. brother What the fuck? God damn son of a bitch. Bitch. And I said, 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 boom. Oh, fuck. And I said, boom, that shot. Boom, that shot. God damn the Mon Raiders. Oh god damn it. Oh shit, that's a person. Set us up. 
No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Hmm. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. Hmm. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because mm. we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody going to know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are going to kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Yeah, yeah, Dutch. Alright, whatever, Dutch. all right everyone that's gonna be it for today you guys um hope all of you guys enjoyed the video um like and subscribe only if you want to only if you want to as i say they are never required but always definitely appreciated um i hope all of you guys have a fantastic day um stay safe and see you guys